This is JBig Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install an NVMe drive into a Dell Precision T7610 workstation. All right, so why, why do we install an NVMe drive, especially in a system like the T7610 that doesn't support it as a bootable device? The simple answer is, is just performance. You know, if you're if you're using this system to open up large programs or large files, NVMe drives are awesome, you know, for, for faster uh, read speeds. And, and so even if you can't boot to the NVMe drive, you can still install it as a secondary drive and then put your larger programs and your larger files on the NVMe drive for faster performance. So, as I stated, you can't boot to an NVMe drive in a Precision T7610, um, and I don't know exactly why that is. It's probably something that has to do with the BIOS, the way the BIOS is set up, and probably one of Dell's way, ways of forcing you to buy a newer system. So, um, you know, and, and don't let that scare you. You know, like I said, you can boot to a conventional SATA drive or SAS drive in this particular system because it supports both and then still install that NVMe drive as a secondary drive. So here's uh, our NVMe drive. It's a 512 gig Western Digital Black. Um, and if you did not know this, the T7610 does not have an NVMe slot on the system board. So we have to use this adapter. Um, and we've chosen this adapter and we, we've used a bunch of different versions of this card um, manufactured by different companies and they all seem to work you know, the same way. So basically, the NVMe SSD installs pretty much like a memory module installs. Um, there is a little screw that you have to use to lock the NVMe drive down to the adapter card. Um, and here's the little screw. Not all NVMe drives come with this. Um, typically, the adapter will. Um, but um, we fast forwarded here and you know showed you what it looks like when it's installed. So. Um, here's the T7610, so you pull off your side panel, put the system on its side, makes it a lot easier to work with. Now in our case, we have two processors installed. So that opens us up to all of the I.O. slots. If you only have one processor installed, you cannot use the top slots because those are only enabled when you have CPU2 installed. So because we have CPU2 installed, that's where we're going to install our NVMe drive. So basically move the little blue clip and take out your PCI blank, line your card up. And it's a, this is, it's a really light card, so this card should pop in fairly easily. Lock it into place like so. And make sure your blue clip is pushed back on to keep that card nice, nice and tight in place. So that's how you install the hardware. It's pretty simple. This is what it's going to look like in the BIOS. Uh, as you can see, we have A17. So hopefully they allow for the NVMe drive to be bootable in future BIOS versions. I doubt it, though. So this is what it looks like. It, it just comes up in the PCI information as a mass storage device. And then we'll go down and we'll show you. We have a Samsung SSD installed, in, and it's plugged into that SAS controller that's built into the motherboard. So that's going to be our boot device. And you can look in the boot sequence, it doesn't even show us the NVMe drive. Now, sometimes it'll show you, sometimes it'll show you the NVMe drive when you're booting or when you're installing Windows, whether it's seven or 10, sometimes it'll show you that in there, but it'll just tell you that you can't use it as a bootable device. So again, we are booting to a 256 gig Samsung SATA SSD because we cannot boot to the NVMe drive. All right, so this is what it looks like in Windows 10. You can go into your disk management. And we can see our 256 gig solid state drive. That's your boot device. And then below is disk 1. And we have uh, made that the F drive. And that one is our... Um, 
NVMe drive that it will pull up, put all of our fast programs on, or, or sorry, not our fast programs, our large programs and our large files on so that we can open them up faster. Um, so that's about it. That's, that's all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment below. Um, if you want to look at additional content, we have tons of videos on YouTube as well as uh, you can go to www.greenpcgamers.com for other content. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the YouTube page. And as always, if you have questions that you would ask, like to ask live, um, follow me on Twitch, jbigticket23. I'm happy to answer live questions about hardware in between gaming. Thanks again for watching.